Hey YouTube, I'm back once again. I've got a couple of parcels I picked up from the sorting office this morning. I've been out most of today. Uh, bargain hunting, maybe. Um, yeah, I, th I think you could call it that, even though I kind of knew what I was going out to buy before I left this morning. Um, I was going out specifically for one item, but that led on doing a little bit of research last night that led to me going to get some of the stuff as well um, and on the way out I went to the sorting office to pick up these two parcels they arrived on Friday while I was at work and uh, yesterday I was at work again so I didn't get a chance to go pick them up so we'll get into these this first one it's just a little one this one quite a bit bigger there but this one uh, came off eBay um, it was a, a set of three. Um, I only really, really want one of these. I only need one of these um, for my collection. Um, but it's the one that I want is one that I've been on the lookout for a while and just never see. It's a, it's a. I don't know if it's rare. But it's an American release. So I'm gonna put this straight in there. Now, I've got to be a little bit careful not to cut what's actually inside. Let's see if we can just... It's an awful lot of tape. It's a lot more tape than I would have put on, personally. I seem to remember at least one, if not two of these, maybe even all three are sealed. I think they're all sealed. So we've got some HD DVDs. So we've got Mission Impossible, Mission Impossible 2, Mission Impossible 3. And they are all sealed. Now, that's a UK release, but these two are American releases. And this was the one in particular that I needed, Mission Impossible 2. I already have this, I mean, I have this movie a few times, but I have this specific release. Um, when this was, I don't know the order, but I'm thinking probably the box set came out first. And there's a UK, there's a US, and there's maybe it's even European and um, Australian box sets. But these two specifically were individual releases. I mean, this one was as well. Although this could have come out of the box set, but because it's sealed, it's unlikely. Um, but the box set never came with barcodes on their first two movies. In fact, I'm going to, I should have really prepared for this, but I'm going to go and get one. Okay, I'm back. Um, I don't think I was explaining that particularly well. So we've got here examples of both the UK and the US box sets of the Mission Impossible, first three Mission Impossible movies. Um, so as we're looking at the US, we'll look at the US ones, but we'll also quick look at that. So all of these box set editions come with these very similar covers but they all have this silver border around the artwork on both the front and the spine. And it is exactly the same with the UK ones. So we've got silver border. Um, and also the UK release. I'm saying that's the UK release. Am I getting mixed up with these now? I'm getting confused. Anyway, yeah, one and two. So the UK release, they all have these not to be sold separately. There's no barcodes on them. 
the US ones. The third movie has a barcode, but one and two don't. And I've never come across a UK release of the first two movies with a barcode on them. The third one I have, the third one was released separately, albeit with that artwork. So there we go. We'll see that one's got the barcode. These two are the, as far as I'm aware, were standalone releases of the first two movies in the US. Hence, they come with their own barcodes. I bought that one, another one of that one, maybe two or three years ago, and I've just been waiting and waiting to find this particular one. I did see one a while ago, but I think it was about £15. It was in the US. It wasn't £15 or $20 or whatever it was. It was, it was only a few dollars, but it was... The rest was the cost of the shipping, um, and I almost never see this for sale on eBay in the UK. This particular version, and the other night, it was last week, it would have been, um, the guy had this full trilogy for £6 by now, or oh, best offer, and I put in an offer for a fiver, and he sold me all three for a fiver. So I was very happy. Um, now going back to this, this third one obviously doesn't match these two, I mean it's a UK release anyway, but this is the only one that I've never seen come with the without the silver border. Um, now a lot of the Paramount releases, the earlier ones had this silver border. Um, and then later releases didn't. Now I haven't seen um, examples of every single one being reissued like this without the border, but some of them do. Um, and I'm still looking, but whether it exists, it would more likely be with this artwork, but whether it exists to match these three, I don't, uh, sorry, these two, I don't know, but I will keep on looking. But yeah, so that's one more HD DVD for the uh, for the collection, and two more to add to the pile of uh, ones that I'll eventually be selling when I get round to it. Which we'll look further into that in probably the next video. Um, but for now, I'm just going to clear this up, and we'll get it in this next parcel. Right, so last weekend I received a parcel that I knew was coming um, from uh, from Pete Cahill, who uh, had contacted me on Facebook, uh, mentioned that he was uh, reducing his collection. He had a bunch of stuff that I might like for mine, and if I wanted them, I could have them. And uh, he sent a few last week, and he contacted me again middle of this week saying there's uh, another parcel on the way this one considerably bigger than the last one and i'm fairly sure this is everything else that uh, was on that list that um i said that i would like um yeah so it's uh, like i say it's considerably bigger than the last one so we're going to get into this it's uh, pretty much more of the same that I got before. Um, I'll put a link to that video uh, somewhere up there and you can uh, go and take a look if you haven't already. Uh, so let's... Oh, I didn't quite get the end there. Like we've got another note and we'll uh, quickly get into this one so it says hi Jason please fires in your mm. throat's a bit uh, scratchy try that again hi Jason please find enclosed another 14 snapper case DVDs I really hope they are okay for you 
uh, take care from Pete Cahill. So there we go. Well, like I say, I do know what's in here. I made a list, but I can't remember exactly what all of them were. Um, I'm just wondering if that one was on my list. I have a feeling. But anyway, so we've got, this isn't uh, working too well. I'm just going to adjust this camera because uh, this box is probably going to be switched off by mistake there. So we've got Under Siege. This has been a US release by the looks of it. These again are, are pretty much all snapper cases. Um, I think there might be one or two Super Jewel cases in here, or maybe that's coming in another one. Um, I know there was at least one more on the list. Anyway, so this one looks like it's a, a double-sided disc, which they did in the US a lot in the early days. of. Uh, I mean, we had them over here as well, but they seem to be more prevalent over there. Uh, Under Siege 2. Again, this one looks like a US release. Again, a double-sided disc. So, are these dual uh, aspect ratios, or are they special features on the second disc and the second side? I'm not sure. Uh, National Velvet. I don't think I've ever seen this. I do uh, know the uh, the movie title. I've uh, definitely heard of the film before. Uh, Outbreak. Um, quite relevant at the moment. It's a long time since I've seen that. I don't mind watching that again. Uh, Vegas Vacation. Now I do have National Lampoon's is it Vacation or European Vacation? I've got one of the others anyway but I didn't have this one. Um, Again, this is another one. It's a while since I've seen. Christmas Vacation is still my favourite. Uh, this one I do already own. Um, but mine's a UK release. It's different artwork. So I thought I'd uh, add this one to the set. Deep Blue Sea. Great movie. Uh, 2010. You We Make Contact. I believe. I was probably wrong about that. For some reason, I thought I had 2001, but I'm just looking up because they're all they're all on the shelf right at the top there. Um, but no, maybe I don't have 2001. Um, another film I haven't seen for many, many years. 2010. Frantic. This is a fantastic film. Uh, I'm looking forward to, to watching that one again. Out for Justice, uh, some more uh, Steven Seagal. And we've got, what's this one? Oh, the Specialist, Sylvester Stallone. Just hoping I've got enough space for all of these. I think I'll, uh, I think I'll be okay. Red Planet. Um, I saw this film one time, I think, when it came out, and I've never revisited it. Uh, Addicted to Love. This is one I see from time to time in the charity shops, but uh, they're always in really poor condition. I think almost every one of these so far is an American release. Uh, well, not quite. Is it? No, a few of them, actually, are UK. Uh, her Alibi. Tom Selleck. I don't know that I've ever seen this one. Again, looks like the clip's broken on this one, but that's fine. I've got a bunch of spare boxes, which uh, whenever I see these cheap enough in a four for ten or five, uh, five for a pound or four for a pound or whatever, and I can't make up the numbers. I've, there's a snapper case that's in decent condition that I already own. I'll grab it for the spare case, and this is exactly the reason why. Occasionally you'll get a broken hub. I think this is the first one I've ever come across that actually doesn't snap. So 
we'll be fixing that one uh, and then finally in here a uh, perfect murder again i don't think i've ever seen this movie the double-sided disc yeah this one being a dual ratio full screen and widescreen uk release this one yeah awesome so looks like that's uh, that's everything out of there great stuff now i need to remember to scan these into the uh, into the collection on my app because i got so carried away last week i stuck them all up on the shelf which means moving the table and getting stool out to get all the way up there right at the top and that's a long way up um, and then realized I hadn't scanned them I hadn't put them all the way up there uh, and I still haven't I need to uh, as I put these away I have to bring those other ones back down and scan them but there we go uh, yeah so that's a, a couple of parcels that I picked up from the starting office today uh, yeah I'm thinking I was probably wrong um, these aren't everything uh, there's still a couple more that I can think of that were on that list that uh, haven't arrived yet so uh, possibly fingers crossed there's going to be uh, some more to come but uh, Pete once again thank you so much really really chuffed um, I really enjoy collecting these um, I've said it before but if you'd have asked me I've been aware of these of these particular you know cases since the early days of uh, of DVDs and they never really were anything that was that bothered about and it's only in the past few years that I've re-looked at these and thought actually I quite like them I like the way and you can kind of get a, a bit of a feel for that right there on the shelf they're so tightly together um i just like the way they look well they've been very square in the corners um as opposed to uh like a, a, an amory case being more curved um yeah it's hard. i really do like the way they look together um but yeah like i say if, if someone had asked me a few years ago um how many movies were released in these style cases i don't think i would have said more than 10 or 20 um but it's <laughs> it's never ending um i must be at gosh 150 maybe maybe more by now uh, and still counting um there are a few box sets that i've become aware of over the last year or two that i would like to get hold of um and that reminds me there's another one that uh, i'm also possibly expecting um because there was some box sets in that uh, on in in not on my list there was one box out on my list but there was a couple of box sets that uh, pete showed me when um when he initially sent me the pictures um but there are a few other box sets out there as well that i'm aware of there's the uh the shaft three movie box set i already have two of those three movies but if i can find that box set in decent condition i'll probably grab that um there's the nightmare on elm street box set which i think might be only available in the us i've only ever seen region one us releases of that box set with is it first six or the six plus new nightmare i'm not sure there's, but it's it's a very nice looking box set because all the artwork um individually is parts of a bigger picture i think it's a picture of the, of the hand in the glove if i remember rightly um i really love to get that box set there's a stanley kubrick box set um and there's what else is there there's obviously the friends box sets but i've got i don't i don't know if i want to start going for all the friends box sets because i've got so many of the friends releases already um that i probably just get the box sets of the series that i don't have that many of which isn't many box sets to be fair 
Um, there's the Sopranos. All the Sopranos are... Uh, I don't know. That's not true. Maybe. But I certainly know there's two or three seasons of the Sopranos in box sets on snapper cases. I don't know if the entire um, run of the Sopranos came out uh, in snapper uh, cases. But maybe. Who knows? Friends did. So uh, when did the Sopranos end? Maybe the Sopranos were still going after snapper cases were um, superseded with standard Amaray cases. So who knows? So yeah, uh, but even just looking on eBay and 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 and, and looking in CEX, um, I tend to just look through the 50p section at snapper cases. But even when I'm looking through the normal DVDs, I come across snapper cases for titles that are sort of two pound, three pound, even five pound. Um, not always in the best condition, some of them. But the thing is with CEX. They check the discs and they're very particular about the condition of the discs. And for the most part, they don't give a damn about the packaging. Now, that's not always true because I had one guy a few weeks ago. I had a, I can't remember what title it was, but it had a flipper disc, a flipper tray inside. And one of the tabs on the, the flipper tray was fine, but one of the tabs in the case. Um, let's find an example. So the, the, the tray that clips on these little tabs here, which is difficult to see. One of those tabs are broken, so the top half of the tray, or maybe the bottom, I can't remember, was loose. And he didn't want to take it because that was broken. And he actually said to me, do you have any more Blu-ray cases? I'm thinking, well, actually, I didn't think I said. I said, well, not on me, no. Um, he said, I don't know if I can take it because that's broken, I think. To myself well the amount of times i've seen broken cases in cex anyway there was another blu-ray in the pile that i was trading i said well can't you just swap them over and he went oh yeah i could suppose i could do that um we had something in middlesbrough right now that i want an arrow release which is in a white one of those white boxes um which has got a broken case uh, but that's a whole different story because i uh i've got a bunch of um a bunch of vouchers today from tradings which I spent um which will be coming up in the next video um but I'm I'm going totally off track now aren't I um so what was I talking about broken cases um not broken cases but packaging in general um yeah CX are very meticulous about the discs being fine but like I say for the most part they don't really care about the packaging. I mean, I've seen still books in there, not so much, not so much Blu-rays. Although I've still seen Blu-rays that are damaged, but only minor damage. But I've seen DVD still books that look like somebody stamped on them and taken them into CX, and CX have have taken them. Um, but these are very susceptible to sort of even just damaging the card or I've seen them with water damage I've seen them with mug, coffee mug or tea mug stains on them um, where you know they've spilt and they've left a stain and they've obviously got a watermark as well on top of that or underneath that which you want to look at it um, but my point is the condition regardless of what they sell them for isn't always great um, it's just look at the draw which is often a reason why I'm sometimes reluctant to buy anything other than a normal Amaray cased Blu-ray or DVD from CEX uh, online as opposed to in-store. Um, anything that is particularly rare or in alternate packaging, let's say, I prefer to be able to see before I actually go and buy it. Um, so I don't often, although I do sometimes, but I don't often get snapper cases from CEX other than ones in the 50p section. Um, and that took a heck of a long way just to get to that one little statement I think I've been rattling on for. Anyway, um, I'm going to end this now because uh, this is becoming a, a very long video once again. Um, so 
as normal if you manage to get all the way here um just put a comment below saying uh, if you wouldn't mind just saying made it to the end or got to the end or you know something like that uh, it's much appreciated so i can get a feel of how many people do make it to the end and i know there's uh quite a few of you now that um religious ugh, ugh, don't know where i went with that religiously always get to the end um and like i say it's much appreciated uh so thanks very much for once again for watching and um i've got another video i'm going to record right now of all today's pickups and there's some exciting stuff um i might go as so far as to say one item i got today is a holy grail that i've been trying to get ever since it was released five years ago maybe i think that's a fair assumption five years i, I honestly i don't i haven't looked up when it was released but i think five years ago was was about there um another arrow box set which i've been i've been uh, I was about to say I've been all over the country looking for it. I haven't been all over the country, but I did travel a couple of years ago all the way up to Northumberland to look at one and all the way down to Bradford to look at another one, both of which were were incomplete and I decided at the time that maybe I shouldn't get them. Um, in hindsight, those two were both less than two-thirds of the price of the one I bought today, so maybe I should have just got them for the for the lack of a j card maybe i should have just got one of them but i didn't but the one i got today um maybe not 100 percent pristine but i'm pretty sure it's complete um and i'm, I'm I've, got, I've got a little bit of a an ocd thing about things being complete right i'm definitely going this time so thanks very much for watching i'll catch you next time Ta -ra.